Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Who are you and where have you been? Directed by Edgar Ulmer, The Amazing Transparent Man was shot back to back with Ulmer's Beyond the Time Barrier with a combined shooting time of two weeks. Include me a long way out, chum. So we're not expecting miracles here. Major Krenner, may I present Joey Faust? Joey Faust is a safe cracker and Richard Nixon impersonator. Perhaps you deserve prison. Who has been mysteriously sprung from prison. I know you'd like an explanation. The man behind it is Paul Krenner, who needs Faust's expertise to steal radioactive materials from a vault. But how will he get past security? And Faust confirms this isn't a trick by stroking the air two inches above the guinea pig. You see, I touch it, does me no harm. This invisibility ray has been created by Dr. Ulof, a German scientist who Krenner keeps in his attic. This machine utilizes X-ray, alpha, beta and omega rays and ultraviolet, combining them for best effect and filtering out qualities which would hinder our operations. Yeah, that holds up. As you can no doubt deduce, such a mechanism as this has unlimited possibilities. Uh, no. It makes someone invisible, I'll grant you that, but beyond that, I'd say its possibilities are fiercely limited. What do you want? Faust is forced to cooperate, and he's not the only one. What uh, is in here? It's no concern of yours. In there is Ulof's daughter, held captive by Krenner to force the scientist to work. What choice have I? Can professional lockpick Faust help? You have indicated that you could open it. Not now, Doc. I got problems. Faust's a dick, that's fine, but Ulof sleeps next to that door in a well-stocked laboratory. I have to think that somewhere amongst the equipment there is something that would enable him to open the door. I imagine you've seen enough for one day, hmm? The following day, the experiment proceeds. If you will relax, Mr. Faust, there will be no pain. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Seems like there is pain, but it works. Has Faust survived? Well, do something! I didn't mean grope him. He's gone. What? And he's quick to get his own back. <gasps> and then... Your power. Power. How did you not see this coming? So you're yeah, we'll make the guy we're blackmailing invisible. I can't see any way that would backfire. <laughs> Having renegotiated his pay scale, Faust follows Krenner's instructions, but then goes AWOL to rob a bank. <laughs> Nothing to see, but then. This causes an outburst of panic in the customers. And an outburst of stupidity from accomplice Laura. What's the matter? What's the matter? He's visible! The police, meanwhile, react quite naturally. The man makes himself invisible. Just another day on the job. What's so humorous? Whatever limited story there was now quickly deteriorates into Let's bring this to a conclusion as swiftly as we can in the locations we've already established because God knows we can't afford any more. And please try not to be amusing. Faust returns to pick up Ulof to cure his erratic invisibility. Doc, what's wrong? Why do I keep appearing and disappearing? I don't know. But Ulof guilts him into going back to kill Krenner. Don't you care what Krenner is doing to your country? Knowing Krenner's plans. Because my aim is to make an entire army invisible, you understand? An entire army. Three of the people he employs are only kept there by blackmail over their children. My daughter. He's holding her. But if you ever mention my daughter's name again, you'll have another hole in your head, I promise you! You believe what he told you about your son being alive in prison and in Europe? I just don't think an army is a practical goal when that's your hiring policy. Nevertheless, Faust goes back. 
there is a man who has unlocked every door except the one to his own soul. Now he has the key. Nice referencing of Faust's lockpicking skills, almost hiding the meaninglessness of that line. Faust and Krenner fight and... <laughs> They tampered in God's domain. Well, Doctor, you and your friends have succeeded in blowing up half the county. No, wait, he did. It's a serious problem. This is moralistic B-movie by numbers, and there's only one way to end it. What would you do? I would never watch this film again. Thanks for watching. If you'd be interested in a better story on this subject, then check out my new book, The Vengeance of the Invisible Man, in the description below. James Whale's film is obviously the classic, but what are your top three invisible person stories? Let us know in the comments below. But you just can't go off and leave me.